Metacro is finally making smaller lights for home growers. The new Mini Sun 2 is available as a 150 watt version, which should be ideal for a 2x2 grow space, a 240 watt version, and this 320 watt version that I tested in a 3x3 space. Hello growers, I'm Dr. MJ Coco from CocoForCannabis.com. I conduct independent grow light tests as part of our comprehensive grow light guide. In this video, I'll test and review the 320 watt version of the new Metacro Mini Sun. It creates really impressive PAR and EPAR maps, and like the other Metacro fixtures, it is an incredible deal. They often run sales at Metacro.com, and you can always stack our discount code, CCFC, for an additional 10% off. As always, during my live premiere on YouTube, I'll give away this light that I tested. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the PAR test premiere giveaways. The Metacro Mini Sun arrived fully assembled in this mid-sized box. I've been excited for this one because many growers have asked about smaller Metacro lights. I first tested the Metacro Fold 8 almost two years ago. I named Metacro the best deal in horticultural lighting, and many growers are now running the Fold 8, Easy 8, and Smart 8. The reviews and performance have been great. The only complaint is that Metacro has only made large lights over 700 watts. Until now. Let's see what we got. The Mini Sun is all one solid piece. You can see there are two separate quantum board panels that are quite dense with diodes. The driver is mounted between them. Each LED panel has a ribbed aluminum heat sink. It seems like a well put together luminaire. There's also this accessory bag. I'll lay everything out. The Metacro smoking skull sticker is new. It's a sign that the fixture is marketed more towards home growers. Most of the other Metacro lights are geared toward commercial producers. The Mini Sun does come with a 220 volt plug and a plug adapter to convert the 220 to 110. The LED panels have a great density of SanAn and Osram diodes, and they provide ratchet pulleys and a hanging kit, along with a manual and an RJ cable to daisy chain. Let me set it up. They provide a hanging kit with two ratchet pulleys, but I like to use four ratchet pulleys for my PAR and EPAR tests. I'll raise it into position and plug it in. You can see the display light up, and I'll flip the dimmer from 0 to 100%. We have light. Let's look closer at the controls. The knob on the right is the dimmer. It has preset positions at 100, 80, 60, and 40%. The knob on the left is the timer. You can leave the timer off, or you can set it for 12, 12, 16, 8, 18, 6, 24, or 22, 2. I'll put it back on 12, 12. As soon as it's set, the sequence will begin. It's going to stay on for 12 hours, then go off for 12 hours, and repeat. Now, say the timer is counting down and the power is interrupted. Happily, it has memory. So when the power is restored, the timer does not miss a beat. And if the power goes off for several minutes, the timer will know where it should resume. This means you no longer need to plug in to a separate timer. Let's check out the diodes. Metacro uses SanAn full-spectrum diodes and Osram 660 nanometer diodes. There are 1,350 SanAn diodes at a color temperature of 4,000 K. You can also see the red glow from the 24 Osram 660 nanometer diodes. In total, there are 1,374 diodes in this 320 watt luminaire. That is an excellent 4.2 diodes per watt, or about 0.167 watts per diode. The high diode count means that the diodes are not overpowered which will allow them to be their most efficient and last longer. While we wait for the diodes to fully warm up, let's check out the published stats. This is the product page for the Mini Sun on Metacro.com. There are three models, a 150 watt, a 240 watt, and the 320 watt, which is the one I'm testing. The list price for the 320 watt Mini Sun is only $239, and they often run sales. But whether or not it's on sale, you can use discount code CCFC for 10% off. So the most you'd have to pay is only $215. It's an incredible price for a 320 watt fixture. Down here, we can find some of the other key specs. For all three versions, they claim an efficacy of 2.8 micromoles per joule. For the 320 watt version, that equals 896 micromoles of total PPF. These seem like calculated numbers. Let's run them through the Cocoa for Cannabis grow light calculator. This is our tool to help growers analyze grow lights. It focuses on the important metrics 
and allows you to make better comparisons. In the calculator on the right, I load all the fixtures that I test. And in the calculator on the left, you can enter data about any grow light. The mini sun that I have is listed at 320 watts. If you use discount code CCFC on metagrow.com, the most you'll have to pay is $215. The PPF data that we got are calculated values. They claim 2.8 micromoles per joule. All right, the calculator discounts that 2.8 and estimates the usable efficacy will be about 2.05. That would be good for a usable PPF of 657 micromoles which is enough to cover 10 square feet and can produce a harvest well over a pound. Probably the most impressive and attractive stat here is the 33 cents per micromole cost efficiency. And if you can find it on sale, you can still use discount code CCFC and your price will be even better. Let's see if its actual performance lives up to these calculations. I set up the 320 watt Metacro Mini Sun 2 in a three x three test area. I adjusted the hanging height until the maximum PPFD in the PAR range was exactly 1,000 micromoles per square meter. The hanging height is 54 centimeters, about 21 and a half inches above the sensor. I ran a PAR test with the Apogee SQ500 sensor, which measures PAR light from 400 to 700 nanometers. Then I ran an EPAR test with the Apogee SQ610 sensor. It measures all photons from 400 to 750 nanometers. That's all the PAR light plus far red light. The fixture was in the same position for both tests, and the power was set at 100%. Let's check out the maps. First, we have the PAR map, and this is an excellent 3x3 PAR map. The maximum PPFD is 1,000 micromoles per square meter, and the density of light is very well distributed. There are PPFD values in the high 700s along the edges, and the corners are in the mid 600s. Fundamentally, when you buy a grow light, you're buying a PAR map. And this is what you're looking for in a PAR map. In fact, it's better than my recommendation of at least 500 micromoles per square meter in the corners. The EPAR map will look even better. EPAR includes far red light. I measure EPAR because the latest research shows that far red light is photosynthetically active. LED grow lights produce some far red light, whether or not they include dedicated far red diodes. We can see how much when I run the numbers on these tests. The hanging height for both tests was 54 centimeters, about 21 and a half inches above the sensors. The maximum PPFD was right at 1,000 micromoles per square meter. And the maximum EPPFD was slightly higher at 1,040 micromoles per square meter. In the PAR test, the average PPFD was 791.5 micromoles per square meter which converts to a usable PPF of 641.1 micromoles. In the EPAR test, the average EPPFD was 832.3 micromoles per square meter, which is really impressive. It converts to a usable EPPF of 674.2 micromoles. So the usable EPPF is 33 micromoles higher than the usable PPF. This means that there are 33 micromoles of usable far red light. That's 4.9% of the total flux. The power draw during both tests was 318 watts. So the usable PAR photon efficacy is 2.02 micromoles per watt, and the usable EPAR photon efficacy is 2.12 micromoles per watt. These efficacies are slightly lower than some of the LED bar fixtures, but similar to other quantum board style fixtures. And the uniformity of coverage is outstanding. I'll accept a slightly lower efficacy in exchange for excellent coverage. I publish all of the maps and data in the test report in the Cocoa for Cannabis Grow Light Guide. Here are the main data for the Metacro Mini Sun 320 watt. It is meant as a 3 by 3 foot grow light, but you can see that we rate it for over 10 square feet and predict that you can harvest well over a pound per cycle. Here you can find our discount code and shopping link. Shop metacro.com and whether it's on sale or not, Use discount code CCFC. The most you'll have to pay is $215, which is only 32 cents per micromole. That's an incredible price, and it can get even better when it goes on sale. It's every bit as good of a deal as the larger Metagrow lights. Smaller growers rejoice. There is finally a Metagrow light less than 700 watts. So the winning number in the Partest Premier giveaway is the listed wattage, 320. Congrats to whoever guessed the closest number, 
And if you missed the premiere, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next one. Below the test data and the gross face calculator, you'll find my written review. The Metacro Mini Sun is a great little light at an incredible price. The coverage is excellent in a 3x3 space. And when it comes to grow lights, first and foremost, you want a good distribution of light. It is true that LED bar fixtures can be somewhat more efficient, but they're considerably more expensive. I think for a 3x3 space, quantum board style fixtures make sense, especially at Metacro prices. The hanging height is a bit higher than most of the LED bar fixtures, but it still is only 21 and a half inches above the canopy. I think if you can make that work, the Metacro Mini Sun here is a great choice for a 3x3 tent. I tested the onboard dimmer. As I mentioned, it has set positions at 40, 60, 80, and 100%. I would like to have more granularity with the dimmer, but it does have the option to use an external controller. And although the options are limited, the dimmer is very accurate. The PPFD and EPPFD percentages are very close to the dimmer setting at each position. The surface temperatures of the Metacro Mini Sun are warmer than most of the LED bar fixtures, but in line with some other quantum board style lights. The driver hit a high of 60.8 degrees Celsius, 141.4 Fahrenheit. The heat sink hit a top temperature of 62.7 degrees Celsius, 144.9 Fahrenheit. The Metacro Mini Sun is a great deal. It can fill a 3x3 tent with really high density light and it will produce great harvests. The quality and distribution of light is ideal for indoor grows. And micromole per micromole, you will not find a better price on any light. At Cocoa for Cannabis, we always put the grower's interest first. Our goal is to provide impartial, science-based testing and reviews for home growers. You support our work when you use our discount codes to purchase grow lights. I'd like to thank Rita at Metacro for sending me the mini sun to test, and thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss the next Par Test Premier giveaway. And we're always doing grow light giveaways on the deals and discounts page at CocoForCannabis.com. Check it out. And while you're there, you can read our articles, chat with our community in the chat room, join our next grow challenge, and try your hand at the grow light calculator. Grow your own. But don't grow alone. Let's grow together. I'm Dr. MJ Coco, sending all of you grower love.